Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Summer is the season for traveling and so I thought I wanted to give you guys my best tips on how to pack light and to minimize the risk of overpacking. Now one of my absolute favorite YouTubers, Emma Hill, actually just posted a video with a packing guide and her video is more of a organization kind of video, so how to organize your suitcase perfectly. So instead of repeating all of her amazing tips, I will be focusing more on how to decide what kind of clothing to pack, what kind of outfits to wear on your vacation, because I feel like there's a lot of planning in that whole process as well. That's actually pretty crucial in order for you not to overpack and to avoid that feeling of stress and anxiety and oh, what to wear and then you'll run out and buy a lot of things out of impulse because you have nothing to wear. So I really hope you guys will enjoy this video and these are just some of my best tips. If you have more then feel free to write them in the comments down below. With any further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Now, the absolute first thing that you want to do is obviously have a look at the destination that you're traveling to. For example, my husband and I are traveling to South Italy in just a couple of weeks. We're going on a road trip down Europe and then we'll end up in South Italy at some point and we'll spend the most of our holiday there, driving from place to place. And then we're gonna have a couple of stops in between before we actually end up there. So we're gonna be facing a lot of different types of weather, events, things like that. So you've got your destination, now it is time to have a look at all of the activities that you're expecting to be doing on your vacation. I would actually divide these activities into different sections just to make them a bit more manageable. So obviously we're gonna be having a lot of driving since it is a road trip and it's almost a 24 hour drive in total to get to South Italy from Denmark. So comfortable clothing is definitely crucial. Also something that is not too hot while we're sitting in the car. Maybe just a few extra layers, a jacket or something like that to take on if we're stretching our legs and it's nighttime, things like that. Then we also know that we're gonna be exploring some culture in South Italy. So we're gonna go see Pompeii and we're gonna go have a wine tasting and we're just probably gonna be walking around a lot. We're gonna go one day to Naples as well, so some city sightseeing, so a bit of everything basically. And then to finish off the trip, we're gonna be going to a hotel where they have a pool, maybe near the water, so that we can just unplug and just relax for the last few days before driving back home to Denmark. So we are facing a trip where we're gonna be having a bit of everything really. The reason why it is so important to look at these activities is obviously because they're gonna reflect what kind of outfits that you will be wearing, what kind of shoes do you need, all that jazz. It's pretty important to have a look at these activities. Also, it's very important that you're being honest to yourself. Don't pack all high heels if you know you're gonna be sightseeing for most of the day. So really have a look at the activities and try to have a look at how many days all of these activities will be. So moving on before you actually start picking what kind of clothing you want to pack into your suitcase, it is very important that you have a look at the weather forecast. Or maybe if you know someone at the destination that can kind of brief you how the weather is at the moment. So for us in our trip, we're probably going to have a mixed weather situation because we've been having amazing summer weather in Denmark, but I know that in some of the countries down through Europe, down south, it's been pretty bad actually. So I will probably be wearing something um, throughout the trip that is suitable for both cooler and more rainful weather, but also something a bit more warm, like the weather we've been having in Denmark. And then the weather in South Italy is pretty stable. It's very hot and the sun is shining and hopefully it will still be when we get there. Um, and then through nighttime and early in the morning, it's obviously a bit cooler. So I know that I'll have to pack something that I can layer up with and something to keep me warm. Mm -hmm. 
So now that you kind of have an overview of the activities you'll be doing and the whole overall trip, the weather forecast, everything, it is time to actually start planning your outfits. So for example, in January, we were in London for a long weekend and it was pretty cold when we were there. And some of the keywords for me were, I wanted to stay warm, but I also wanted to look stylish. And I think that is mainly how I pack. Every time I pack, I really want to look stylish, but I want to stay practical at the same time. So I think for me, every time I pack, it's very important that I stay stylish and that I feel good in what I wear, but it's also very important that it is practical. So I kind of try to balance these things out. If you have a capsule wardrobe like me, you probably already have some favorites in your wardrobe that you know you'll be packing. I have my summer capsule wardrobe going on right now, but when we were in London, I had my winter capsule going on. Um, so first of all, I just have a look at some of my absolute favorite items right now, and then I kind of see if I can create something with those items. Some people like to bring out some, a bunch of stuff from their wardrobe, put it on and then take a picture. That's definitely a great way to remember what kind of outfits you have planned from home. Another thing you could do is to check out the app called Cladwell. I've mentioned this a bunch of time here on my channel and it's just a great app to use not only for planning your capsule wardrobes, if you have a capsule wardrobe like me, I have four different capsule wardrobes throughout the year. So I have a spring, summer, autumn, and winter capsule wardrobe. But what I want to say is that the Cladwell app is great for planning trips as well and to plan what kind of items you want to bring with you and then it will generate some different outfits for you. So you kind of register your whole wardrobe into the app and then you can pick and choose between all of the items you have in your wardrobe. So you'll not only get some inspiration on what kind of outfits you can wear if you run kind of tired of the things that you bring with you, but also just in general to make sure you don't overpack and that you only pack what you actually need. If you want other alternatives to Cladwell, which is a monthly subscription-based kind of app, if you want something a bit more affordable or free even, you should check out Stylebook or Smart Closet. That is two very similar apps to Cladwell. So definitely plan out all of your outfits and uh, make sure you have something both for nighttime wear, if you're gonna go out to dinner or you're maybe night out in a club or whatever, make sure you have something that you can wear both during nighttime and daytime. So for me, um, my nighttime looks are often daytime looks that I've just spiced up with high heel shoes, more accessories and more makeup maybe. So I try to keep things simple just to make sure again that I don't overpack but also to make it easier for myself when I get to the destination that I can just wear everything with each other and I can dress it up, I can dress it down. It's just easy and no stress at all. So just to go back to how to choose the different items, again, I would have a look at the activities, have them in the back of my mind all the time while picking what kind of items I want to pack into my suitcase. So because I know we're gonna be going on a lot of sightseeing, I'll pack a pair of sneakers and also a pair, um, maybe even a couple of different sandals. And again, comfort is just so important to me. I can't stand if I, I'm wearing something that is itchy or something that slides off my shoulders or something that I have to kind of pull up all the time or if I'm wearing shoes that give me blisters, all that kind of thing. So I will only pick the things that respect that, that I feel great in, not only when we look at the style, but also when it comes to comfort. So it's really important to have that in the back of your mind all the time and to kind of hold that together with the activities that you're gonna be doing. So moving on to the next step, which is to plan your shopping. And I know that for many, especially women, vacation equals shopping. And I know this feeling myself. I like to browse through different vintage shops. And also if I know there's a brand in that country I'm traveling to, we don't have in Denmark, I would definitely check out that brand or that shop while I'm there as well. So if I was going to the United States, for example, I would definitely check out Everlane because that's a brand that I really love. I do have a guide on how to plan your shopping in five steps, both ahead of a capsule wardrobe season or if you're going on a vacation, for example. So this guide is just to help you make sure you only bring things 
back home with you that you actually want slash need either for your wardrobe or for anything else sometimes we bring back something that worked really well on our vacation and then when we get home we're like what was i even thinking so moving on to the last step which is organizing your suitcase you've done all of the groundwork and you're ready to put everything down into the suitcase and for that i will again like to mention the video that emma hill made because that is just the perfect guide on how to pack and organize your suitcase like a boss. There's a few things that I would like to add to the organization part, which is if you like me like to use solid shampoo bars, both for your body and your hair, instead of the conventional shampoo bottles, don't go out and buy travel sized good because you're just creating much more waste. So just invest in these little round tin containers instead to bring your shampoo bars with you. They don't take up much space in your toiletry bag anyway. So instead of running out and buying travel size goods, invest in these small tin containers that you can bring your shampoo bars along with you. And these often come package free, plastic free or in packaging that is 100% recyclable or biodegradable. So that is kind of why I ditched the bottles a while back. One last tip is to wear your heavy stuff to the airport so they don't take up too much space in your suitcase. So wear your heavy jumper or your heavy coat or jacket, things like that to the airport so that it doesn't take up extra space in your suitcase. Um, I know that because we're going on a road trip, we have a little bit more freedom because we can basically put everything in our car and you know it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be the only ones there so we can bring a lot of stuff but even so i still like to pack light because i don't want to have too many options once i reach the destination because i feel like that i'm gonna be stressing about choosing what to wear or things like that i kind of like to keep things as simple and light as possible it's just how my mind works so that is it guys that is my tips on how to choose what to pack for your vacation i really hope it was helpful if you have more tips don't hesitate to write them down below as i said in the beginning also make sure you follow me over on instagram my username is useless underscore dk i will be uploading footage from our vacation for sure so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you all in my next video Bye, guys. One thing they will promise, they're building you a throne.